Guide. Guide is where you'll quickly find what's on now and what's playing later, how to record a program or set a reminder. Let's get started. Press Guide on the remote or press Menu on the remote. Highlight Guide and press OK. What's on the Guide screen? You will see the channel number and station, the programs and their airing times, current time and date, and a window showing the current program and its description. The blue star indicates a new episode, not a rerun of the televised program. When you click the Guide button on your remote, it will cycle through the favorites list. They are All, Subscribe, SD, Standard Definition, Pay-Per-View, and Individual Favorite Lists, each having its own channel listing. Use arrow keys on the remote to move the highlight. Use the right arrow on the remote to move ahead in time in the guide screen and the left arrow to return to current time. This is how you can set future scheduled events. Select the OK button to choose the program you have highlighted. If it is on now, the guide will tune you to the channel. Recordings. If your set top box does not support recording, you can contact customer service for an upgrade. For recording future airing programs, follow these three steps. Step 1. Find the program you want. Highlight its listing in the guide and press OK. Step 2. From the drop-down menu, highlight Record Program. Step 3. You will be returned to the guide and a record icon will be next to the program's name. When the program begins, your set-top box will record it. When recording a currently airing program, simply highlight the listing and press the Record button on the remote. To watch your recording, go to DVR. You record in Guide, but view your recording in the DVR section. If you choose to record a program that is part of a regular series, select the Record Series option. This will record every episode of a favorite program. To do this, follow these three steps. Step 1. Find any episode of the series on the guide you want to record. Highlight the program listing and press OK. Step 2. Highlight Record Series and press OK. Step 3. Once you have set the series recording, you will be returned to Guide. The program listing now shows a Series Recording icon next to the program's name. Once you have created a recording, you can adjust exactly when the recording begins or ends. To do this, follow these three steps. Step 1. Locate the program or series to be recorded. Highlight its listing and press OK. Step 2. From the option shown for this program, Highlight Edit Recording or Edit Series Recording and press OK. Step 3. Use the up and down arrow keys to choose the options. If the listing is not a series, then you will only see the options Start and End. The options are as follows. Start and End determines how much time to add at the start and end time of the recordings so that none of the program is missed. For a series listing, you will see more options. These are as follows. Channels determines whether the series is recorded when aired on the channel originally set to record or recorded on whatever channel airs it. Preference determines whether to record the program when shown in standard definition or only when shown in high definition. Episodes determines whether to record reruns and new episodes of the series, or only new episodes. Limit determines how many episodes of the series are saved. If set to anything other than all, the system will delete the oldest recorded episode of the series once the limit is reached. Once you have adjusted the settings, highlight OK and press OK on the remote to save your changes. After creating a series recording, you can manually skip any episode. To do this, follow these two steps. Step 1. 
locate the episode in the series you want to skip, highlight its listing, and press OK. Step 2. Highlight Skip Episode and press OK. You will be returned to Guide, and the red dots on the episode listing will turn gray to indicate you are skipping that episode. If you decide to record this episode after all, repeat this procedure and choose Record Episode from the option shown and press OK. The dots will become red again. Guide Scheduled Event Scheduled Event is helpful when you want to record or watch a portion of a program on a recurring basis. There are two ways to access the screen. Option 1. Press Menu on your remote control, navigate to DVR, then scroll down to Schedule Event and press OK. The information, the date, program name, channel, time, and frequency of recording is listed on the Scheduled Event screen. Option 2. When you select a program in Guide and press OK, select the Scheduled Event option from the pop-up menu. The Scheduled Event screen is populated from the channel you are watching and will change when you select another program in the Guide. Since we're here in Guide, let's review this option. First, check to see if the information you want to record is correct. If not, scroll to the information and change. We'll assume all the information is correct. Next, arrow down and highlight Type and press OK. Arrow right and left until you see the event type you want. Recording, Auto-Tune, Reminder, then press OK. Then arrow down on your remote and highlight Frequency and press OK. Arrow right and left until you see the frequency you want. Single, weekly, Monday through Friday, every day. Then press OK. Arrow down on your remote and highlight OK on the screen. Editing instructions will be covered later in the Scheduled Event DVR section. Set Reminder and Auto-Tune in Guide. For a reminder of future programs, you can select Set Reminder and Auto-Tune. Reminders provide an on-screen alert your selected program is about to start. An Auto-Tune automatically changes the channel when the selected program is about to start. The four steps for setting both these reminders. Step 1. Locate the program you want in the guide, highlight its listing, and press OK. Step 2. Select Set Reminder and press OK. You will then be returned to Guide. Step 3. The program listing now shows a Set Reminder icon next to the program's name. We'll repeat the process and select Auto-Tune so you see the icon. Step 4. A few minutes before your Set Reminder program comes on, a box will appear on your screen telling you that you have a reminder. Press Info on the remote to display the reminder. Highlight the button showing the program name and press OK to watch the program or highlight Cancel and press OK to ignore the reminder. Just before the Auto-Tune program begins, a message will appear, giving you the option to tune in or cancel. You can choose either one or just wait. The pop-up will go away and the system will tune you to the correct channel. You may cancel any event you have previously scheduled directly from Guide by following these three steps. Step 1. Highlight the program with the event you want to cancel and press OK. Step 2. Depending on the type of event you are canceling, your option will be Cancel Reminder, Cancel Auto-Tune, Cancel Recording, or Cancel Series. Highlight the option you want and press OK. Step 3. After you press OK, you will return to the guide. The program listing will no longer display the event icon. You can also cancel an event from the My Library section, 
which is shown later in the video.